Hello and welcome everyone. <clears throat> Let's wait for two minutes so that all participants can join and then we will start. Okay, so hello and welcome everyone. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes, please. Good. So in our yesterday's class, good. In our yesterday's class, we, okay, let's wait for two more minutes. Let other students join. I guess there are a few more who wants to join, so. Okay. So yesterday, in yesterday's class, we were doing a topic of Cofold Company. Uh, let me show you. I guess we did not even start with the Cofold Company. And uh, I will now show you the Cofold Company's question. First, we will first cover the yesterday's remaining part. Today, unfortunately, we'll have to take class. We'll have to extend class uh, today's class so that um, we can cover up the previous day's topic. And we'll start with uh, this day, that is today's topic as well. So this today will be the third one. And then we'll be left with two more days. And then we'll be going for a mock exam. I would like to uh, uh, ask you to please register before the mock exam because and now further classes will only be allowed to the registered students. Okay, so I have extracted, I have extracted uh, this question of Cofold Company. And in this question, we are about to go, we are about to read out this question in full. Um, did I uh, went through this question? I, I had done the reading of this question or not? In yesterday's class, we did with the reading. I don't think so. Can someone please uh, let me know if we did with the reading? No. Half reading. Okay. So we what we can do is we can start once over, once again, uh, because this is something which is important. And I will write the entire question in front of you. I'll write the entire question in front of you on the CBE platform. 
you know uh, we will do this on the cbe platform perfect so still there are some students who want to join okay so what is he saying right now let's just quickly go through this question and then we will uh, have the writing stuff of this question have you uh, um, did you all tried attempting this question how many of you tried attempting this question how many of you tried to attempt this question yesterday or tomorrow today's morning yes please okay so good good <clears throat> now let's move forward let me read this out for you so it says that cofold company is a listed construction company uh i guess now it is visible to you all so it says that the kofol company is a listed construction company its head office is in the capital city of limbadasa of the country of meghalaya i told you that how will you be doing with the reading stuff is you will be holding your highlighter although i have my stylus and i have that habit of highlighting it with my stylus but in your question paper you will be highlighting this with your mouse and working pad so you will have to highlight few points now what are the areas to be highlighted so this is the question that we were doing yesterday so it says that we uh, we are a, we are a listed construction company and we are in the city of limbadasa capital city of limbadasa of the country of meghalaya so meghalaya has two neighboring countries that is elphia and betel why is he letting us why is he giving us this information most probably because um, he want to connect the equation with these two different countries so that is the reason he is uh, connecting and he is letting us know about these two countries the country side in both alfia and omegalan is generally flat in betel large you know this is something different the the country side of omegalan and alfia is flat but in beetle we have large range of mountains the is an rd mountains which separate its eastern region from the rest of the country all three country uses the same currency that is dollar this is of our concern as well now cc score business cc score business is to provide support services that this is something which is important because we need to know what is our core business so we are providing support services such as upgrade of electricity network and road renewal and maintenance in all the three countries however it has undertaken road construction project of increasing size and complexity initially cc carried out most of its major construction project in omega land its budget biggest project there being a ring road around the city of limbadasa cc has also started to develop a portfolio in alfia the biggest development there being a road between fai city and dau dau so the biggest development is there is a road that is between the fai city and dau dau which was completed in 2000 to date cc has not carried out any road construction project in betel however an opportunity has arisen from the cc tender for the construction of major road in betel which would be the biggest project which cc has undertaken to date 
The following exhibits provide relevant information to CC. Exhibit number one, most of the recent, most from, extract from the most recent annual report. Press release of the announcement of the new road in Beetle. Forecasted revenues and cost for the construction of the new road in Beetle. Outline content of the project initiation document and assembly of the operational issues section of the project initiation document. Transcript of an emergency meeting at CC's head office and report of an interview with Bruton Vader in Omega Land Daily Newspaper. Um, for all my regular students and all the workshop students, I will keep a face-to-face -face class on most probably on Monday, uh, the upcoming Monday, although we'll complete with this workshop thing, but I will, I would want to meet you all once before we go for our exam leaves. So we will keep a face-to-face -face class most probably on Monday or on Tuesday. I'll inform you guys. Okay, so uh, according to this question, the question basically says, the question is saying, the case requirement are included in the task below. And we will be doing question number three, part A and B. Can you also read that question? Basically, this question is not on uh, the uh, platform. And I have found out the relevant extract. I made the relevant extract in order to save time. I will do one question on CBE platform. I'll do one complete task paper on CBE platform as well so that you have, will have an idea. But that doesn't matter if I'm reading over here or I'm reading on the ACCA platform. It's equally good. Okay. So it says, the case requirement are included in the task below. Question number three. We are just doing question number three. It is now July 2002, three months after CC began construction in the new road in Beetle. You are Petsing, a consultant employed by the CC's board. You just left the emergency meeting reading the incident at the construction site and are responding to the request made by the CC's chairman, IB, at the end of the meeting. The requirement. Prepare a confidential memo for Imena, the, we can call him as IB, chairman of CC, which discusses the ethical and reputational concern raised at the meeting. Professional marks are available for demonstrating skepticism skills by challenging the comments made at the emergency. So we need to find out four different things. Who you are, so I am a management consultant. And you are Petson, a consultant employed by CCS board. I'm a management consultant, number one. My name is Petson. And I have to write the uh, confidential memo to the chairman of the CCS company, in which I will have to discuss the reputation and uh, Ethical issues. Great. CC, a summary for CC's board to review assessing the control weaknesses discussed at the emergency meeting. Stating for each control weakness, its consequences, recommendation for improvement. Professional marks are available for demonstrating evaluation skills. So over here, we'll be writing a summary for CC's board to review assessing control weaknesses discussed at the emergency meeting, stating for each control its consequences and recommendation. Now, all my students, can someone tell me how many column will you be making? How many column will you be making? In part number B. Very good. You all will be making three different columns. The first column, very good. You all will be making three different columns. First column is control weakness. Second column is its impact. And the third column is the recommendation. Right? Now, how many marks? This means that you are getting 18 marks. So, for every one correct point, you will divide these 18 marks with four. Why? Because... For every correct point, you are getting four marks. So you will be writing around five 
different point four to five years four to five different in fact i would recommend to write more not less i would recommend you to write more not less so you will be writing five different point in order to get the best in order to get the best uh, out of it so five points five valid points will help you to gain some good marks right and you are evaluating this this means that your tone should be in order to present the idea and in order to give the pros and cons we'll see into this as well okay so these are the two requirement that we are going to do in today's session before starting the day 3 exhibit number 5 i have found out relevant exhibits for this question and i it, it basically gives me an ease uh, when i am reading this rather than reading full i can read this these relevant exhibits and i can save some time so the relevant now you don't need to do this in your examination why am i doing this so that i can save some time and we can quickly go through different areas obviously cons only obviously cons only um pros only are suggested transcript of an emergency meeting on 20th of july 2002 at cc's head office following a protest against construction of the new road in beetle now the new road in beetle is being made presentator bruton whether the chief executive emina biudia the chairman alan cheng risk manager pet singh a consultant the meeting began at 10 am bruton opened the meeting by playing the following clip from now this is how you read such a question following clip from beetles newspaper from beetles news program about the break in from the earlier that morning presentator two protesters were seriously injured last night after they broke into one of the construction site for the new road through the zindari mountains the break in is an exclusion of the recent protest against the new road protesters have been unhappy that they have not been able to meet with protein whether chief executive our reporter i i is outside the site iris what can you tell us about the break in and the injuries to the protesters reporter it appears that a number of protesters created a diversion outside the entrance while the two security staff on the site investigated other protesters broke in elsewhere close to where a break in was attempted last week on this on that occasion the security staff spotted the protesters and prevented access this time however two protesters got in it seems that one collided with a van driven by an employee of cc the other protesters were apprehended by another cc employee and was subsequently taken away by police no representative from cc has made any comment about last night no representative of cc have made any comment about last night event and we have not been able to speak to any of the employees involved however uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry as he was led away by the protesters who was arrested shouted out about the protested injured by the van they ran him over the van deliberately went straight for him and ran him over end of the clip brutal i thought that showing this news report was the best way to brief you what happened although alan has found out more since alan i have spoken to our employees and staff from sholand security the security firm in beetle which we use it seems that both they both went to deal with the protesters at the main entrance 
Imina. Were there only two security staff at the site? Alan, yes. The contract only states that the security post should be manned at all times. Imina, the news report mentioned an attempted an attempted the news report mentioned an attempted break in last week. Were we told about that? Alan, the security staff said that they had reported it to their manager, but no one from Shell and Security appears to have contacted us. Routine. What more do we know about what happened once the protesters got it? The protesters who were injured ran across an, an unlit service road and the van collided with it. Imina, should the area have been lit better? Apparently, lightning was one of the things that picked up by Lee Kroata, our health and safety manager. When he visited the site two months ago, staff said that the lighting was going to be fixed before the internal audit visit planned for the next month. Why isn't Lee here, Amina? Rutin, Lee had been off sick for the last six weeks. We have to get a temporary replacement in now to fill, fill the gap caused by Lee's absence. Amina, did Lee submit his report on the site before he went sick? Rutin, I did not receive it, but the points were generally minor. We have had so much else to discuss at the board meeting recently, but I haven't had a chance to report on health and safety. Amina? Amina? What more do we know about the protesters who collided with the van? Alan, I haven't spoken to the van driver yet, but I have spoken to the security guard who chased the protesters. He didn't see the collision, only the aftermath. Amina, how about the protesters who claim to have seen his friend being run over? I'm not, Alan, I'm not sure whether he would have been able to see clearly what happened as the lightning was so poor. He would have fallen over on a patch of oil, which hadn't been mopped up. This was why the security guard was able to catch up with. Now, I guess you might be you might be finding out some control weaknesses. You might be catering some control weaknesses in your mind. Imina, you told me earlier, Bruton, that our lawyer have advised us not to make any statement, not to make any statement that we are responsible and that police and health and safety authorities will be looking at the site over the next few days. Bruton. That's all correct. That is all correct. Of course, we shouldn't admit to any responsibilities for the injuries. I'll be flying out of Peter this afternoon. When I get out there, I'll issue a statement to the press saying that we regret the injuries, but protesters who trespass on building sites have only themselves to blame. We'll ensure that the site is tidied up, lights fully on, etc. I'll also speak to the staff there and make sure that they are saying the same thing. They'll all get a hardship bonus because of all the stress they had gone last night. Now, this is something which you guys can understand. Why are they being paid with the hardship bonus? It's not the stress. It is something which is which they are trying to... Um, yes, it is something which they are trying to, you know, uh, manipulate their staff's viewpoint. I'm fed up with these protesters and the way they are disrupting the contract, this contract, right? They are trying to conceal something, very good. So, Bruton and Ellen leave the meeting. Emena and Pet continues a private conversation. Emena, Pet is basically you, right? I'm worried about the Bruton, what Bruton will say and do when he is, he is in Beetle and his attitude on the issues we have discussed. Can you send me a memo before Bruton goes to Beetle, setting out your views? You can be as frank as you like. I 
shall keep the memo confidential. I'm not, uh, I'm also not happy generally with how, how risk have been managed and controls have been updated. I would like you to draft me a summary of control weaknesses and how they can be remitted. I want the board to see quickly and clearly what the problem are and what we must do. End of the question. Now the question over here is, now before going for the writing perspective, I would want to show you something. Now the question over here says, the question basically is that you have just left the emergency meeting. Okay, so question is, the question part A says, a confidential memo is to be prepared. You will be prepared a confidential memo for the chairman of the company in which you will discuss the ethical and reputational concerns. This means that there are there are two questions in this regard. You can do these two questions with two different headings. If you feel comfortable in eth writing ethical as a, a, a separate heading and reputational as a separate heading, or you can even write it within one heading that makes sure that there are certain ethical issues and certain reputational issues. What I found out is that I can write four ethical and two reputation because it is of 12 marks, so I need to write at least six different valid points. And the most easiest question, obviously, is of this B part, which relate to 18 marks. I can easily write. In fact, you guys can also easily find out some of the control weaknesses. The first weakness, um, there is no proper security being allocated. There was a patch of oil, no proper lightning, no correspondence. There are thousands of control weakness that I've identified. So you will have to write this answer. Now, let me show you the format of writing this answer. Let me just quickly show you the format of writing this answer. Because once I, once I let you know the format, because I have basically included the format areas in my day three workshop. I have included the format areas in my day three workshop. So uh, what are the format areas? I'll show you right now. Just a minute, please. Let me open this. Okay. So the format area is, it goes in this way. This, this is basically just the day three that is today. Today's handout. Let me just quickly. Okay. So we were to write memo. We were to draft memo. Uh, you guys can take screenshot if you do not have formats. You guys can take screenshot right now. All those who want, you can take a screenshot. It will be an easier thing for you. Done? Okay, can anyone tell me what does FAO stands for? What does FAO stands for? Can someone tell me? Hmm. Yes, focus of attention. You have focus on attention. Uh, whom you are writing to, basically, this is the FAO stands for uh, in the memo thing. Okay. Just a second, please.
basically its focus of attention or we can also say for the attention of why whom you are writing this letter to it's it goes like for the attention of so f a o for the attention of or then from subject date so although we do not have with the format right now because i'll have to share the previous screen this is the day 3 handout please uh, you can take a screenshot i'm waiting for 2 to 3 seconds you can take a screenshot of this or you can take a picture of this and then let me show you the way forward in order to write the weakness control weakness basically this is the column in your format you will include another column control so first of all you will identify the weakness then you will identify its impact and then another column for recommendation or improvement right but make sure now the biggest mistake that students do see if you are making columns and obviously you will be making columns you will have to you will have to head categorize the first column as control weakness now there i have seen some over efficient student they rewrite these headings as well for example what do they do they rather than okay examiner wants control weakness i will i, I will write this column to be the control disturbances why i don't know why i mean this is something which is an over efficient student and losing marks the second column should be consequences now you start writing impact so why do you want to do this i don't understand this isn't something which is creative let if the examiner is telling you to write consequences write the heading of consequences rather than writing impact or any other thing why do you want to lose on for some foolish stuff i don't understand honestly and last thing is recommendation now you will write no no i will write suggestion why do you want to do this this is where you are making the examiner piss off the examiner wants you to write a recommendation you should write recommendation don't make your own columns until unless the examiner says okay make your own columns and you feel you what write whatever you want to write that is something different that is totally a different case but don't do this foolish mistake basically this is when you want your examiner to you know fail you despite of the fact that he wants to clear your exams so right do you all get this so please make sure that don't that you guys don't do this okay so now what i am doing is i have read out this question and i will write the entire set of question in front of you on the cbe platform but it is a uh, prayer time right now so what i am trying to do what i am trying to do or what we can yes uh, what we can do for the time being is that rather than um wasting our time i want i am giving you break for 25 minutes in now what you need to do in these 25 minutes you first will be going for your namaz prayer break and then come back write the answer of part a and part b and then i will start writing so by 7:45 we will start with day 3 and i will take this class till 11 o'clock all those who have not yet joined you can ask them to join as quickly as possible so that they do not miss anything and those students who missed yesterday's class i am uploading the lecture you can see uh, the yesterday's lecture after this class see i am trying my level best to facilitate every single student around the globe around the corner so that maximum of you can take advantage of it please please it's a request whatever strategies i am making with you all make sure that you go through those strategies before jitna tum hona chaho ho jao i am trying to make all those strategies that will help you in clearing your exam trust me my viewpoint is just to provide you strategies to clear your exam i am totally making my 100% in order to make you guys clear this exam so yes i am giving you 25 minutes of break go on for your namaz prayers uh do pray for me as well and come back and start writing your answer sharuk i can reply you in private right yes sir
for all the regular students i have uploaded the uh, link of the previous class on my portal you can uh, join it basically this is cofold company's question and the previous class question and i would want you all to join so uh, i'm giving you namaz break for 25 minutes in this you will go for namaz as well as for your uh and you will also solve part a and part b then i will solve the part a and part b on the platform right
yes guys have you all solved it may i start solving now yes please good <clears throat> one part is being solved chale great okay so uh, we are short of time because you know we have to go through the day 3 part as well so now i am starting to solve this on the given platform i have already opened this platform so that i can solve this um so basically we were doing with the just a minute i need to open the question okay so we are solving with the part 3 and part 4 of the question and in 3a we will be making the briefing paper right so i am making the briefing paper in front of you i am closing my i'm closing my camera so that i can write well um we have to write the briefing paper yes yes nan attempted break in means that they tried to enter the company's premises uh, without having the formal authority or they tried to enter into the company uh, with uh, with uh, without a proper yes we have to write a memo without a proper formal authority so they tried to basically call in for a strike call within the company so i am making the i am making the briefing paper right let me quickly write briefing paper i don't know why this platform does not have that intention to violate violence or to property yes intention of violation of property or someone's premises basically yes this is the meaning um i don't see see this platform to be a very good one but let's hope now i am preparing the briefing paper in front of you let me just quickly go through this briefing paper again i will be writing some points uh, so that we can have a better segmentation in this regard briefing <coughs> excuse <coughs> sorry <coughs> briefing paper so how do we start uh for attention of f a o we will be writing the board of directors i am writing the answer in front of you so that you will have an insight of how to write the answer from now what will i write in the uh, in the from part can someone tell me what will i write in the from part yes yes you will be writing pet singh a consultant basically pet singh and then we have subject the subject relate to contract 
for road construction board of directors means chairman board of directors means chairman you can even write chairman no issues in that you can write chairman both of them are acceptable contract for the road construction in beetle and then we have the date you will write the current date that is the day month and year right so uh is it an analysis or is it the evaluation uh, for skepticism skills and uh, reputation okay so we can write we can write that we are about to give an analysis on the situation because we will be raising some ethical concerns so i will be writing the answer this briefing paper highlights the financial sorry 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 oops i i by mistakenly made the format of briefing paper basically it was about it was about the no 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 we were to write memo and you guys are not even telling me we were to write memo not the briefing paper we were told to write memo no we are not writing the briefing paper a confidential memo extremely sorry extremely sorry we need to write a confidential memo so we will be writing to i am just uh, writing the abbreviation ib that is emenia behudia comma chairman of cc company right yes yes pusha uh, pet singh comma external external consultant yes yes the format is same but still there are some some changes that i wanted to make okay so rest of the format will remain the same and <clears throat> this memo highlights the ethical and reputational concerns arising from comments made by b comments made by b w that is bruton b v in fact b bruton weather in the meeting right so it says that you are about to write the ethical and reputational concerns that arise with the comment that was raised by b v in the meeting who is the ceo of the company now cc board
No, no, you don't need to write in block letters. Basically, uh, you will be writing in normal format. You won't be writing in block letters. CC boards is committed to provide services to its stakeholders keeping its ethical and reputational concerns with honesty and fair dealing in all circumstances it come across. Comma, any misleading statement from CC board member. Now you guys must be uh, um, you guys must be aware that I told you that even the CEO seems to be a bad person or a bad cop in this uh, scenario. However. We are still writing that any misleading statement from any person of CC board, from any CC board's member, will have a will have a devastating effect on CC's future. credibility and may give rise to some negativity in terms of ethical and reputational concerns. Now, this is how I started my memo, right? There are several ethical and reputational concerns. There are some ethical and reputational concerns. Just give me a minute, please. Just a minute. Just give me a minute. I want to write something.
just one minute. Okay, we will not be writing our answers in block letters. Make sure that you are not writing your answers in block letters because okay. So the answer will include, there are certain ethical and reputational concerns. What are the reputational and ethical concerns? Just let me go through these concerns. Yes, please. Okay, just wait for a second, Asman. Just wait for a second and then you can ask your question. Let me first complete this answer, then I will give you a uh, complete time to ask questions. Okay, so my first point will be My first point could be CEO is not meeting the protesters due to which the protesters, due to which the protesters were unhappy and ex it exploited the break it. Sorry? So, this is the first thing that will give rise to ethical and reputational concern. Now, I would want you all to read the requirement once again. Why? Because there is something different that is being asked to you. A confidential memo for Emena Boudia, chairman, which discusses the reputational and ethical concerns. You are not going to give the solutions to these. You are not going to give what should we do now. What you are going to discuss, you are going to discuss what gave rise to ethical concerns. And what are the situations that gave rise to reputational concern? Now, majority of you must have written the answer that this should not have been done. This should not have been taken, undertaken. This should not have been done. So that could give or that could lead to a wrong answer. Right? Do you get what I am trying to explain right now? Okay, so if if I move forward, if I move forward, what could be the next point? Mm, the next point that I have jot down or I have identified is the point which says, just a second, I'm writing the next point. It says, is it all uh, visible to you? Okay, CEO refused to admit any responsibility, even though there were some issues and weakness at CC's end. CEO, now I am using skepticism tone. Now I am using a tone of skepticism. We would be required to answer in paragraph. Yes, you can answer in paragraph. In fact, you can answer in points for this question because. He wants you to identify the situation that give rise to ethical and reputational concerns. So you can even ask, if you can even write your answers in point for this question only, right? So it says CEO refused to admit any responsibility even though there were some issues and weaknesses at CC's end. CEO, now see, I am using the tone for skepticism. CEO should not put entire blame to protesters. This is a false claim. Misstatement, co and misstatement and could. I'm not using the word it will become, it would become. I'm using the word it could become a reputational issue 
for CC after the investigation is complete. So see, I have identified a reputational issue in front of you. I have identified a reputational issues in front of you. And the first issue that I identify, it's uh, the, uh, it's the issue that relate to uh, the ethical concern, right? Now, the third point that I feel should be the part of this scenario is, it goes like in this way. CEO wants to tidy up and light fully on so that the CEO, CC's fault can be hidden. This shows integrity issues. See, I am connecting IPOC. I am connecting IPOC, integrity, professional competence, and duty, professional behavior, objectivity, and confidentiality. This shows CC's integrity issues and against the code of ethics of CC. Do you get what I'm trying to explain in front of you? The, this is one of the bestest written answers um, that I had already written. So I just wanted to uh, show you rather than wasting time on, you know, typing. What I can do, I have already written the answers. So I can paste my answer away. CEO plans to speak to staff to make sure that they speak the same thing and offering hardship bonus to the staff. This is the point that I identified as well. This shows integrity. See, can you relate to the situation with the IPOC? I am relating it. Integrity issues may be intimidating. See, I am relating the scenario to the principles of ethics and I am also connecting it to the threats of ethics. Maybe intimidating to the staff as well as internal bribery. Do you get what I'm trying to explain? Now, can you, can you relate? Is it a good answer that I'm writing in front of you? How many marks will you give me? Will you give me 100% marks? Yes. It, is my answer showing skepticism? You guys tell me. You guys can do justice to this answer. Yes. Is my answer showing skepticism? Is it true that I am writing my answer with all the skepticism? Is my answer connecting to the scenario? Is my answer connecting to the scenario as well? I guess it is 100% connecting to the scenario. Is my answer showcasing the IPOC and SAF? I guess my answer is 100% showcasing the IPOC and SAF. You are intimidating us to say the same thing. <laughs> so I'm not intimidating. You can even uh, go against my viewpoints. But yes, I feel that I'm writing a good answer. If I would have, if I were to give this paper, I would have gained good marks. And sir, can we highlight IPOC separately in case of bribery lead to integrity? No need to highlight but because, you know, uh, IPOC is basically being made by me and you. And this IPOC is not known by the examiner. Yes, Mr. Hasnan. Yes. It will be good if you write your question in the chat option, please. Okay, moving further. So Asnan want to ask, in your handout you mentioned in memo format that you start from F4. Then you use, uh, then why you used to it in this? You can write F4. You can basically I'm writing a confidential memo. So for the attention of board will be something for the attention of is something which goes with plural format. So that is why I molded my answer. Basically briefing paper and memo are somewhat the same, but it is interchangeably used. When you are writing to one person, you will use two. And when you are writing to a plural, that is more than one person, you can use FAO as well. Okay, I'm explaining the last point. CEO did not report to the health and safety issues to the board, uh, citing minor points and, they, and that there is so much else to discuss. The CEO said in the meeting that there is so much else to discuss. So that is the reason that I didn't brought this issue in your concern. So that is the statement that is being presented by the CEO of the company. 
I don't know why does the CEO think that there there are issues which are far uh, more appropriate than this one. This should have been the biggest issue, but the CEO said that I don't want to discuss this issue because I felt that this issue is of minor concern. Okay, CEO has a relaxed attitude towards health and safety and risk manage risk management weaknesses were not remediated timely and no alternate no alternately health and safety manager was identified to fill the long vacancy and sick leave for the manager so the ceo said that it has been 6 week when the uh, health and safety manager is out of work so this means that there uh, he should have been recruited way before all this sir you had a road 2 point in 1.4 bribery should be a separate point yes you can make separate point but it is better because it can it was connected to this point that is why i have written this point including in the same one okay so let's just quickly move forward to the next point see i am writing no point examiner mentioned in the scenario that it is july just a second so i guess i guess i have written some ample amount of points uh if you feel that any further point can be added i have written 1 2 3 4 5 6 point are six point justifiable are the six points justifiable am i getting good marks in this yes sir you are getting good marks i am i'm going see i studied from mr sheikh bilalak Okay, I will repeat this point. Uh, the examiner mentioned in the scenario that it is July third month after work begin. Now my question is, what date we mention in the comment? See, if you are confused in regard with date, you can just write day, month, and year. No need to go into details of all this. Examiner is not going to cut on marks in this until and unless he says that okay, now you need to write uh, this particular date in your memo in your answer. Otherwise, he is not going to cut any mask. Uh, yes, six point are definitely enough. Why? Why? I am letting you know the reason as well because you can see over here. You can see on this question. This question is of twelve marks. But sure, this question is of twelve marks. This means two mark per point. So I am I am writing at least six points. So six points means more than enough. See, you do not have to overburden your answer. You have to complete your paper within the stated time format. So, see, I have written a very good answer. In it's my in my opinion, I have written a good answer. I've connected my answer to skepticism. I've connected. Yes, we will consider professional marks for uh, point writing as well. So, professional marks will also be considered because I wrote. uh because i wrote point yes you will be considering professional marks as well because professional marks are not been attained in isolation remember my, mark my words professional marks are not being attained in isolation you are attaining professional marks in combination so we have got six different points i have connected all these points with uh, the professional marks i have connected this these points with skeptic uh, with skepticism that was required i have connected these points with the scenario i have used the skepticism tone and i have given six point so my examiner is going to give me at least out of 12 10 to 11 marks as well <clears throat> five points and one skepticism point yes you can see it's better to give six points why even if your one one well, let's suppose point is not marked as correct the examiner will give you a margin in this regard so it's better to write one extra point rather than writing one less point after class we say the suggested answer the group okay i will share the suggested answer in the group as well okay let's go for the second one uh let me write the second question as well okay over here what he is saying is a summary for the cc's board to review assessing the control weaknesses discussed at the emergency meeting uh stating for each control weaknesses its consequences recommendation and improvement so i need to have i need to have three column in a format let me include three different columns see 
Now I am selecting three different columns in front of you and question one, question three, part B. Now the fact is that I need to write control weakness, consequences and recommendation. Great. So let's write quickly. Control weakness. Consequences. And last but not the least, sorry, a recommendation. Do you all get this? So um, as I've written the answer to this point as well, the first weakness, can someone identify the first weakness? Can anyone tell me what will be the first weakness? I have ident I'm just writing the weakness area and you can tell me just a second please Yes, I think three points each will be enough for second part. Uh, as for the mark allocated, poor communication. Skepticism tone is hard to find in this answer. Why is it hard? It is very obvious in this answer. Uh, lightning, lack of sufficient security. Yes, uh, all these goes in the skepticism tone. Uh, what about other students? There are many other students. I don't see you all participating. Are you all guys getting this? Because, you know, unless I don't get... Um, I don't get a response from you. I feel that, okay, there is something missing. So uh, I can name a few of them. Anusha, are you getting this, Peta? Aruna, Devani, I hope so I'm pronouncing them correctly. Mohammed Fala, Marjori. We have Tamur, Umar Chaudhary, we have Herbert, Ikra. Guys, are you getting what I'm trying to explain? Yes, I, I would want you all to participate as well because you know, uh, participation will basically make me feel good, 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 good. Okay, so my question was, what are the points? Now I have identified one, two, three, four, five, six points, uh, but you need to write four to five points because there are 18 marks in total. So you need to write four to five points. Because every point will help you in gaining, uh, every point will help you in gaining at least four marks. I don't know why is he not allowing me to copy from my word file. So I'm copying it over here. Number one, I have identified audit committee is responsible for the risk management. Yes, audit committee is responsible for the risk management. Uh, the first point that I've identified as a weakness is the inadequate number of staff and i'm writing all my points in front of you so that we can easily cover up this because i don't want to waste my time and you know going through this typing stuff you know how to type your answers so i have written four to five points you can choose any of them inadequate number of guards 
last week incident not reported to cc lightning not sufficient uncleaned patch of oil no health and safety manager since last six weeks health and safety report not brought to board attention so these are the six points you can even identify more points in your answers um now the point is now the point is so what what should be the consequences now i am uh, i am uh, verbally letting you guys know what are the consequences in adequate number of guard the company should be held what what should be the what will be the consequence the consequences of having an adequate number of guards were that the break in was taken into account and the man the man individuals who were there on to the gate were not able to uh, to hold on the mob that was coming towards the factory and what could be the consequences now what could be the recommendation the the gate should be properly manned at all the time and the number of guards should be increased after this incident last week incident not reported to cc due to the fact that it was not reported to cc yes due to the fact that it was not reported to cc's board uh, the the news coverage and the negativity about the company was all prevailing within the organization and within the economy now the recommendation is that someone should be held liable for not reporting to or ceo should be held liable for not reporting on these consequences of on these incident incident and the individual should be uh, taking into account or there should be some disciplinary actions in this regard now the third point is lightning is not sufficient now the lightning is not sufficient means that there is no proper lighting being done there is no proper lighting being done so if the lighting is not being done uh, the consequences will be that uh, there could have been more issues there could have been more uh, fundamental issues or there could have been more accidents in the company and this would have resulted in more bad situation in terms of health and safety right then it says just a second please then it says uh, what could be the recommendation there should be proper lighting being and the health and safety manager should be held liable for having these proper lights in this regard um then it says unclean patch of oil uh, the consequences were that two of the individuals two of the protesters got hurt and got uh, there was an accident being done in the company which ultimately resulted in our company's image and goodwill being deteriorated and obviously the recommendation is that there should be proper cleaning and a uh, proper health and safety management being done by the health and safety team no health and safety manager since last week consequences were that no proper health and safety uh, regulations were being uh, taking into account there was no proper internal controls regarding the health and safety the consequences is the recommendation is that the health and safety manager should be immediately and should be immediately yes obviously impact will be over should be immediately replaced by the another person so that the health and safety position is a very important position and it should be taken into account as soon as possible and health and safety report not brought to the board's attention there should be a proper investigation as to why this health and safety report is not brought into the board's attention and the people and the person who is liable should be held should be penalized in this regard so i hope so i hope so you have had a great time in writing this answer uh is there any question that you would want to ask right now in regard with this particular answer yes please is there any question that you would want to write, ask right now yes obviously we will not be explaining the weakness we uh, the question requirement is the question requirement is that you need to give the weakness consequences and recommendation 
no need yes yes it should be a fun line no need to give explanation about weaknesses yes you can explain the consequences in few lines you can explain the recommendation but you won't be explaining the weakness okay i'm writing my number over here my whatsapp number if you have any further question you can whatsapp me as well just a second okay so these are the answers and these are the recommendations that we have done right now you will have to write the full answers i am not providing full answers and just providing the answer you write your full answer and you can whatsapp me and i will be checking the answer if you have written it correctly or not right so let's move forward let's move forward and let's see okay so over here we have the completed with the uh with this particular area we are done with the last class and now we need yes vaji and now we need to go through the third day part any further question in this regard would have anyone would want to ask any further question okay okay vaji i will check it i will check it okay so i guess you have done with your answers just a second please okay perfect now let me let me show the day 3 and we shall start with day 3 right now. okay so day 3 but before starting day 3 i need a break for 2 minutes i just need to have a glass of water so just let me go for a break for 2 minutes
Okay, so let us just quickly start with day three. That is day three. Okay, I hope so. It was a good question for you all, and I hope so that you enjoyed this quiz. Now we are moving towards day three. I will extend today's class, although it was till ten thirty, but I will take this class till eleven o'clock. Okay, so it says that today what we will do should we write our answer in sequence? Now this is one of the biggest blunders that students do. See, remember one: your first impression is always your last impression. If you want to clear this exam with good marks. obviously now after taking the entire regular course from me and then taking these five days workshop now as well if you are not uh, able to write your answers in your exam this means that now i have done my part and there is some lacking from your side if you are writing your answers in sequence and let's suppose it's the examiner's psyche that normally the first question is the most difficult one normally the first question is the most difficult one so this is what examiners do generally now if you are writing your answer when you are writing your answer in such a manner no i will follow the sequence the examiner might not be able to get what i am trying to write so i should follow the sequence now this is one of the biggest blunders that mostly students do this is one of the biggest blunders that mostly students do so i would request you don't go for such blunders because you know what at the end of the day uh, your bestest written possible answers should be written first and your worst answers or the answers that you feel that it is not up to mark it should be at the end right i can share something about my own uh, papers as well when i used to attempt papers i used what i used to do is uh, i used to flip over my paper and i used to read right from the end but you don't need to do this in your sbl examination i used to flip over my paper i'm not talking about sbl i'm talking about other taxation papers so i used to flip my paper and i used to do the last question because i knew one thing i was very much um, in knowledge with the examiner's psyche what examiner used to do previously i'm talking about around one or two years before what examiner used to do examiner used to give me examiner used to give the first question as the hardest one and the last question as the easiest one even though the last one was two marks so i used to attempt the last question first and the first question last why because i felt that okay now first one is the hardest for all if i start attempting the first one to be the hardest and not attempting it to be good so what will happen is the invigilator the the checker will have a psyche okay this person don't know anything and where you can attain 48 49 50% marks so he will be giving you 48 or 46 or 47% marks if you can attain 50 55% by by giving a good impression at the start go on for that one right so sequence is never ever necessary in sbl examination in today's class we will be going through the ratio analysis uh, we will be going through yes you need to write the you need to write the answer but the examiner mentioned in the last report that individual should follow the sequence as examiner no uh, in the individual psychology examiner mentioned in the last report that individual should follow sequence as examiner no no this is not possible you can can you share uh, that examiner comment with me the examiner never wrote that I, you should follow sequence the examiner just wrote that you should follow the chronological order of your question that is if you are attempting question number 1 then you should write question number 1 part a and if you are attempting question number 1 part b then you should follow that sequence why because in one report you have to write two answers now what students do they write question number 1 part a on the first page and question number 1 part b on the last page this is not allowed this should not be the case because if you are writing the report format you will be writing question number 1 part a and below that you will be writing question number 1 part b you will not be 
you will not be writing one part a on first page and one part b on the second page but still can you please share that comment with me so that i can read it out loud right now in front of all the students so that i can validate my point okay so today's class will be going through the ratio analysis the risk management how to write presentation slide and an article of technical article that is internet of things as we will top tips plan your studies i have already gone through this plan the study now it's no time left for planning the study and the syllabus content areas as quickly as possible start practicing case studies question as soon as possible work on the professional muscles from the outset attempt each of the specimen and pass with the content in full and to type professional skills are available for evaluation communication today's exam technique is that should we write answer the question in sequence i have already told you that you should not write the answer in the sequence golden rule to pass your sbl examination is the first and the last hour mm, first hour reading and planning time stop reading as soon as 60 minutes is done last hour decide the sequence and what to leave see what requirement are still pending see what topics are left see what marks are left start requirement which is more easy and high scoring if you are to decide between two questions you are left with two questions and you know that i'm just left with 10 more minutes and i can solve only one question now out of those two questions i am talking about uh, the fish uh, the ship that is sailing in the boat and this is the last resort to save yourself now what should we ideally you should complete your paper sbl can never ever be passed if you are not completing your paper but what if now in examination so i was not able to complete my paper however i was left with two questions and only 10 marks the first question was of 15 marks and the second question was of 6 marks sir i attempted 6 mark question you are one of the biggest fool if you have if you would have attempted the 10 marks question you would have gained at least 6 marks in that 10 marks question but you attempted 6 mark question you would maximum would have gained 4 to 5 marks so you should attempt those questions that are high scoring uh, yes uh, if you say no sir i do not i was attempting uh, question number 1 uh, that was of 10 marks as per your uh, suggestion but i was unaware of what that question was all about so i tried attempting it but i wrote nothing now this is a blunder this is a common sense if you do not know what to write in 10 mark question then obviously you will be writing the 6 mark question don't me blame me oh sir you told me to attempt the highest mark question and i didn't knew anything about the highest mark question so i tried attempting it but i completely flushed out or i was it was completely out of my mind so i was just thinking about that question and the bell rang but this is something which is known as blunders this is something which is known as common sense if you do not know that 10 marks question then obviously you will be attempting 6 mark question that is on the second priority start requirement which are more easy and high scoring change the sequence of required there is no negative marking but yes sequence changing does not mean that you are in specifically in sbl it does not mean that you are doing question number 1 part a um, on the first page and question number 1 part c on the last page why because one report format will facilitate part a part b and part c as well so you do not need to do this yes but what you can do you have attempted question number 1 part a then you attempted question 3 part a is so you have attempted question number 1 full then you attempted question number 3 full and then you attempted question number 2 that is acceptable that is justifiable but you won't be doing attempting parts in between right now the question is but can part 1 be come before part a yes, part 1 b can come before part 1 a but obviously it's not humanly possible because part 1 b will be in connection with part 1 a so i don't think so that if a, that particular scenario is possible but yes if they both have no link with each other you can do that no issues in that now what are the financial ratios uh, i can share the ratio and out with you i don't need to uh make these ratios and uh, ratios read out in front of you again and again but yes we have got the profitability ratios now remember remember the heading majority of students are doing a mistake as to 
uh, sir, I don't know what profitability ratio is. Yes, yes, then you can ask. Yes, please. Yes, yes, then. You can even open your mic and ask. Okay, okay. So we have got profit and loss ratio. Remember, you need to remember the headings of the ratio. There are four ratios that you will be using when you are evaluating the profit and loss. Don't do this blunder. These four ratios are sales trend ratio number one, gross profit margin ratios, net profit margin ratios, return on capital employed. You don't need to show calculation. However, if you have time and if you feel like you know the calculation perfectly, see, there can be two different choices. You accidentally got the right answer of calculation. This is something that if you don't show calculation, will let you gain marks. But if you are not confident about calculation and you write the wrong formula, and then when you are getting the right answer, the examiner will strike out. So if you don't feel confident about the calculation, don't give calculation. This is not F7. This is not SBR. This is an SBL theoretical paper. You do not need to show calculations, right? One thing. The second thing is, Yes, sales trend means comparison of two years sales or two company sales. Then we have the balance sheet ratios. That is current assets ratio, gearing ratios, interest cover ratios. All these ratios are included in the balance sheet ratios. Then we have the gearing ratios, interest cover ratios, efficiency ratios. Obviously, there are, there are questions that relate to revenue per employees. There are questions that relate to labor turnovers. Then you can even uh, add on some new ratios. For example, training per day. How much training per day is being provided? You can add on to those ratios as well. Remember, whenever you are commenting on the ratios, you will go from denominator to numerator. This is a blender which majority of students are doing in today's world. Whenever you are commenting on a ratio, you will go from denominator to numerator. For example, when I say that the current asset ratio means current asset over current liabilities, so you will write for every one rupee of liability, we have got 0.6 rupees of asset. Let's suppose for every one rupees of liability, we have got 0.6 rupees of asset. You will comment from denominator to numerator. Anyone commenting from numerator to denominator will make your answer go wrong. Okay, so one paragraph on PL commentary. If there is PL given, you will write one paragraph on PL commentary. You will write one paragraph on balance sheet commentary. Sir, in specimen exam, examiner asked in the last question to prepare the business case for both the requirements, but in second requirement, he wants us to prepare project initiation document. Now, the confusion is that how we prepare project initiation in business case format. I will do that question as then. I will do that question. You will be writing one paragraph on profit and loss, and you will be writing one paragraph on balance sheet. You will be going from denominator to numerator. When you are explaining a ratio, you will write for every one rupee, for example, current ratio. Current ratio is current asset over current liability. You will be explaining for every one rupee of liability, we have got 1.2 rupees of asset. For every one rupee of liability, we have got 0.6 rupees of asset. You will go from denominator to numerator and not from numerator to denominator. One more thing, don't do this blunder to write a wrong calculation. Don't do this blunder of writing the wrong formula. Many students, while me checking the answers of many students, I see you guys become over-efficient. I saw a student writing the ratio of current assets. It's, it's such a blunderous mistake. It's such a minor mistake. If you do not remember the formula, no need to write formula. There is a student who was writing the current ratio answer to be very much correct. But he wrote the formula 
of current ratio as current asset minus inventory divided by current liability so he wrote a formula of quick ratio rather than writing current ratio and the ultimate answer that he wrote was perfectly fine so i striked it out i gave him a zero over this this is blunder it's not a mistake if you do not know how to write if you are not sure about the calculation don't write it if you are not sure about the calculation don't write it if you know the calculation then it is well and good you will get a competitive edge when examiner is reading your answers right now we have got the risk management or oh, this is one of those topics that i don't think so now see it's my personal opinion it's my personal opinion this time i don't think so that the examiner is going to ask you much more about risk it's my personal opinion again i am saying this Uh, again and again in this recording it is my personal opinion examiner is not going to ask you much about risk in this attempt still we need to it's it's obviously it's my personal opinion it's not the examiner's opinion so you need to have a, a, a better insight of how to write the answer even if it relate to risk topic so there is a question from sharuk sir if we show correct calculation but we get casting errors while calculating yes you will be losing marks you will be losing marks you will be losing marks it's see the marks are not for calculation but for the end result you are writing a theoretical paper not a practical paper in practical paper the scenario goes different but in theoretical paper you have to write it very so for ratios just increase or decrease in ratios will gain marks or the reason for no 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 you will have to give reasons for the increase and decrease you will have to justify the reasons of increase why do you think that they, it is increasing why do, if you just uh, this is one of the biggest bestest question that you have asked me right now because many of the students what do they do okay the ratio is increasing so what should i do if the ratio is increasing how will i get to know as the previous ratio was 8% and this time it is 10% is it something good is it something bad see the cost ratio increasing from 10 to 8 is bad but the sales ratio increasing from 10 to 8 is good how would how the hell will i identify if it is something good or it is something bad for the company so make sure while you are writing the ratios make sure that you give justifications and at least if you are not giving justification at least right it is good for the company it seems to be a deteriorating situation it seems to be uh, an inclining situation at least identify this thing to the examiner how the hell do you believe that okay the examiner will get to know from 8 to 10 percent is something good if it is cost it's bad if it is sales it's good if it is profitability it's good if it is uh, costing or it's the uh, expenses it's something bad so make sure that you at least write all these areas so risk no comments on ratio but just matching the figure as it depends on the other factors during the period yes uh, managing risk now what do you mean by risk management possibility one uh, possibility number one could be identify the risk you can refer to the risk see i have told you many times business or strategic risk that you are making a strategy and that goes into a failure financial risk you are about to go for a big you are about to purchase a big machinery but you do not have different sources of finance liquidity risk risk that your strategies might fail and you do not have liquid cash available to pay off your liabilities credit risk risk that your supplier might cease to provide you credit facility and will go on cash on deliveries foreign exchange risk risk that you are uh, dealing with a foreign company that will pay you after 6 to 8 months and after 6 to 8 months your currency is deteriorating a lot intellectual risk risk that your your patents your formulas your your um, let's suppose intellectual property is being uh, taken uh, out of your company with some fraudulent activities political risk risk that the um, political environment of the company or uh, political environment of the economy is not sustainable for example in the current situation of covid time period legal and compliance there is risk that you are not complying with the health legal and safety requirement and you are being penalized and it is not just the penalty that you have go, you are going to pay but the goodwill is also deteriorating and there is some reputational risk as well environmental risk there is that you are not able to perform some csr activities and the 
production that you are doing is creating continuous pollution. Reputational risk is that the strategies that you are undertaking will deteriorate, will bring down your strategies, and you will have to face the consequences. Reputational risk, uh, health and safety risk, risk that your employees are not satisfied with health and safety provisions or measures that you have taken. Technological risk, risk that you are trying to buy good technologies, but that technology, technological obsolescence is always pumping you to put in more and more money if you want to compete in the highly competitive environment. The possibility number two is give a recommendation. Read the risk carefully and reverse it. Sir, how do you reverse it? To arrive to the recommendation will work most of the time. Now, this is a tip. Technological risk. A risk that there is technological obsolescence. Now, reverse this thing. Invest more and more in technology. Health and safety risk. Risk that the employees do not feel health, healthy and secure when they are working in your company. Provide them health and safety provisions. Reputational risk. Risk that your reputation might deteriorate because of a strategy. Do something that enhances your reputation. There are thousands of it. So what do you do? Reverse the risk. Possibility number three, why risk arise? Now, there might be a question, why does the risk arise in a company? It will vary from company to company and it will vary from industry to industry as well. Because of the size of the company. Obviously, the more, the bigger the company, the more the risk it faces. Geographical location of the company. My company was once located at one central location. And now there are three to four branches. So the risk also increases. Growth phase of the company, the setup phase, growth phase, maturity phase. We are reaching to the growth phase of the company. There are thousands of uh, um, employees within the company. There are many suppliers, there are many customers. So risk of failure uh, can go at any time. Business model strategies. For example, we are going for physical classes. We are going for online classes. We are not able, we were, let's suppose we were giant of physical classes. We used to have many students when we were going for physical classes but for online classes our uh, number deteriorated so this is also a risk financing structures what type of finance do you have do you have capital financing do you have loan financing gearing ratios financing ratios etc then it varies from industry to industry as well nature of product and industry for example financial industry versus manufacturing industry you have got financial industry You've got manufacturing industries. Uh, what are they doing? Investment. For example, are you working in a capital intensive industry or are you working in a labor intensive industry? A regulation. For example, higher laws for the banks and uh, lower laws for sole traders. Ecological aspects, for example, oil and gas industry. Obviously, it will have an ecological impact and more risk to economy is to the ecological factors and last but not the least uh, technological risk technological risk relates to the high tech industry for example mobile phone industry and all other industry in which you are operating as uh, uh, in which you are operating so you need to have the particular technological areas of concern as well now, the next part is possibility number four, that is risk diversification. How do you diversify risk? Now, this is one of the self-explanatory questions that is being answered right now over here. For example, product diversification. We can diversify our risk by, uh, by investing into two to three products so that if we do not get enough amount of profitability from our first product, we will be in a better position to earn from a second and the third product. Industrial diversification. Firstly, we were operating in uh, the mobile phone industry. Now we are in COVID time period. We are operating in the, let's suppose in the in ventilator industries as well. For example, iPhone, Apple company have recently announced their ventilators as well. So this is what I call diversification ultimately. 
diversification relates to this area, right? Okay, so the next thing is the geographical diversification. Now, what do you mean by geographical diversification? Geographical diversification is that you want to diversify yourself geographically. Now, what do you mean by geographical diversification? For example, firstly, you are operating in only Pakistani environment. Now you want to operate, for, and this is the case. Um, previously, around two to three years before, when I used to teach SBL, I was only teaching within my economy and for the physical classes. But this COVID time period, um, although this is a bad uh, time for all, but it also gave us an opportunity to teach to the global students. For example, there are many students who are right now sitting in front of me and they are not from my economy. And after these lectures being uploaded on the portal or being purchased from uh, other individuals, they will facilitate the individuals from other countries as well. So this is something good. And obviously the possibility number fifth is the risk mitigation strategies. Risk mitigation strategy means embed risk in organization culture. Embed risk in organization culture means to put risk mitigating factors into the minds of individuals. Adopt COSO model, entities, risk, risk management framework, adopt a model which is known as transfer, adopt, recruit and avoid framework that is Tara model, risk heat maps. I will share a picture of risk heat map that I've prepared in my regular class, risk committee, risk managers and risk audit. So what do you mean by embedded risk in an organization culture? This means to put in a risk mitigating factor and risk identification factors among all the individuals who are working in an, who are working in an organization. Uh, for example, commitment from top management, the top management of the company should be highly committed. They should be performing the risk mitigating factors and they should be performing well to these factors in order to avoid the key risky strategies and in order to take some measures to mitigate or to reduce the risk. But one of my favorite lines that you need to remember right now is that the risk can never be eliminated it can only be minimized. You have formal risk committees, adopt entities risk management framework. When you need to go for employees training, for example, orientation of employees upon joining, once the employees are joining us, then you need to have some orientations with them. You need to explain what the company's core competence is, what are your requirements, what is the job description, everything. They include risk management in the individual job description. It is not your duty to conduct internal audit. It is not your duty to conduct sales. It is not your duty to. It is not only your duty to conduct the uh, marketing department, but each and every individual is working within my organization and will have a duty to mitigate risk, to identify risk, and to put in measures to reduce the risk to an acceptable level. Employee training, that is orientation of new employees upon joining, include risk management in individual's job description and appreciate and reward good risk behavior. This is the possibility number five and possibility number six is what are the advantages of having a risk committee? Uh, the first and the foremost advantage of having a risk committee is early identification of risk is being done. Early identification of risk is being done. Risk is mitigated. Proper resources are allocated to the risky areas, and obviously the internal controls five component that is the control environment, the entity's risk assessment procedures, control activities, information system relating to financial reporting, and last but not the least, monitoring of control. So examination question number one says the risk management. It is basically SBL specimen number one, DCS company, question two A. Then question number two that I would want to do right now, in fact, yes, uh, it is of presentation slide, Nive company, question number four A. Now I have written some formats recap as well in front of you, although I've done in my regular classes. Um, the format recap goes in this way, report format is two from subject uh, date, and this report starts with introduction. 
ब्रीफिंग पेपर ब्रीफिंग नोट एंड मेमो गोज फ्रॉम एफ ए और इवन यू कैन राइट टू फ्रॉम सब्जेक्ट डेट एंड ब्रीफिंग पेपर विद एन इंट्रोडक्शन प्रेजेंटेशन स्लाइड आर दिस इज वेयर मेजोरिटी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग मिस्टेक you will write presentation slide and you will write the accompanying notes after having those presentation slide don't over write on to the presentation slide this is the thing that i'm repeating again and again listen to me very carefully don't write excessive points in presentation slide if the if presentation slide requirement is to write only only one point then only write one point in presentation slide if the requirement is to write three points and only write three points if the requirement is in accordance to if the requirement is in accordance to marks then for every five marks there should be one point so if they say that okay the presentation slide you need to prepare a presentation slide for 10 marks then you write only two points in the presentation slide and in supporting or accompanying notes explain those two points with one one paragraph each of four to five lines this is the mistake that i'm continuously seeing among students whenever i'm checking i get pissed off over this mistake don't overwrite on presentation slide students are excessively writing on the presentation slide and only one or two line in in this uh, accompanying or supporting notes don't do this offender yes you will get 5 marks for one presentation slide point but obviously 5 marks means one presentation slide point and supporting note of that point and supporting note of that point don't write more than 3 points yes 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 one bullet for 5 4 to 5 marks for one bullet letter format assistant authority on the right side of the letter you it is the person who is writing the letter on the left side of the letter it is the person whom you are writing the letter to subject respected chairman press release and web release format press release then you write the subject what is the subject from company name business case format current situation proposed option benefit of the proposed option project initiation document scope and objective cost benefit analysis project sponsors project team i have copied the same format from a question project manager project team key stakeholders duration of the project key risk constraints project monitoring and reporting if you are being told to write recommendation weakness and sorry if you are being told to identify the weakness and give recommendation you will be getting 3 marks per point if you are being told to write risk mitigating factors if you are being told to identify the risk and identify the consequences and identify the risk mitigate factor you will be getting 4 points uh, 4 marks per point do you all get this is it crystal clear to every one of you sir we are required to prepare pid exam yes you can be asked to prepare pid exam that is the reason that i told you to at least remember the headings on the left side of the project initiation document but up till now they have just asked a question on making the pid document uh, they have given you a pid document which was not properly prepared and they have just asked a question to uh, to rephrase it but they can ask you question and they will be asking you question or to prepare the project initiation document uh, this is something which you will be rote learning the areas that is on the left side of the project initiation document you need to note learn them anything that you miss out will be making you go lose the marks is it clear to every one of you yes please is it clear to everyone all those students who are there right now i need your responses please i hope so this is workshop is getting some fruitful results for you all i i am trying my level best to uh, give you as precise notes as i can so that you know it can facilitate you in your examination what i want from you is just to clear the exam i want you all to clear this exam with flying colors and to uh, make me proud as well as yourself proud as well so great
Okay. So can you share the soft copy with us? Uh, yes, Aruna, but you have to WhatsApp me for the soft copy because uh, the soft copy is only for the registered student, but you can WhatsApp me, I'll forward you. So letter format, please explain your designation, company name and country. Obviously you will be giving your designation whom you are, what is the company name and where are you residing right now? Okay, so I hope so you are, you are done with this. Now um, I'm giving you namaz break for around 15 minutes and we will be solving this presentation slide question of question 4A that is of Nibhe company in the required format. For the timing, we can have a namaz break right now. I will have a namaz break and then we'll have a pray, prayer break and then I'll read out this question in front of you and then we'll go through this particular question. No issues, Peter. No issues at all. We are having a namaz break right now. We are having prayer break. For 20 minutes. Okay. Let's have prayer break for 20 minutes. And then we can continue with Nipi company and then we'll call it a day. So if my role is external consultant and the examiner is not giving my company name and country, no issues, don't write the company name, just write the heading of company name and leave it blank, no issues at all. But it is not possible that the examiner is not giving you the company name. It is possible that the examiner is not giving you the country name, but it is not possible that the examiner is not giving you the company name at least. Okay, so let's have namaz break for 20 minutes and then we'll resume our class and I will do Nibhe company presentation slide question in front of you.
Okay, so guys, are we back? Are we back? Are you all here? Yes, please. Okay, so, so let's resume. Let me, let me mark question over there. Let me just quickly. <sighs> I hope so that this workshop is beneficial for you all. Uh, Let's resume now. Okay, so we were talking about great, great, great. So now let's read out this question. And this question is specimen number three, that, it, that is Nihei company. And uh, we have to make the presentation slide. Let me show you. Uh, um, I have converted it into PDF, so I guess there is some misprinting being done. Let's just start. The case requirement are included in the task shown below. Question number four is required. A uh, requirement is to prepare a presentation slide with appropriate with appropriate number of slides accompanying notes to support your findings covering the following item: identification of the weakness of the current management accounting information in supporting decision making for the restaurant recommendation for the improvement or to management accounting data which identify key performance indicators which should be included in the monthly management accounts to support the decision making for the hotel business um, so there are two requirements. Uh, one requirement is of six marks. You need to write three points or two points in the six mark presentation uh, and then accompanying notes. Uh, identify identification of weakness in the current management accounting information in supporting the decision making in making of the recommend uh, in the making of the restaurant business recommendation for the improvement to management accounting data which identify key performance indicators, which should be included in the monthly management accounts to support the decision-making in the hotel business. This presentation slide will be made of 10 marks. Professional skill marks are available for demonstrating communication in clarifying relevant information to the board of Nebe company. Now, I guess, we will be requiring these management accountant. Exhibit number one, that is article published in Caputo Post newspaper. Now let's change the theme of today's uh, practice. Let's change the theme of today's practice. Now what I'll do is, what I'll do is, I am sharing with you all. Are you all guys there right now? Are you all here right now? Yes, please. Is everyone present? 
good now i want you to do work on this now i want you to do work on this um whoever is on my group or if you are not i am sharing my number you can whatsapp me right now I've shared my number plus nine two double three six zero eight zero six two zero three. Now, what I want from you all is, I am giving you time. No one is going to leave this meeting. See, this is for your benefit. This is for your benefit. I don't know if you are going to solve this on your own or not. But if you solve this in today's class, trust me over the fact, you will have immense amount of benefit after doing this particular question. Trust me. you will feel so secure in regard you will have such a lot of confidence that you will um, at the end of the day you will give me prayers and you will give me uh, you'll praise me for doing this activity right i'm not going anywhere i'm not explaining anything to you i'm just right now sharing the entire nibhi company question with you all i'm sharing the entire uh, question of Nibi company that is specimen number three with you all. You need to read the entire paper. You need to read the entire paper in next forty-five to fifty minutes. And after reading of this entire paper, you need to solve the requirement number four, question number four, A and B. Are you all willing to do this? i need your uh, viewpoints are you all willing to do this right now yes please how many of you are willing to go on for this thing okay so majority of you want to do the sector exercise see we are only left with two weeks we are only left with two weeks from today onwards and this activity will not only give you an edge but will make you better off in your papers as well trust me you all will clear your exam at the end of the day no one in uh, in the vicinity of my economy is doing this workshop to such an extent honestly speaking i am doing this for the sake of my students so that you can at the end of the day pass your exam and obviously let other people know that whom you have studied with right so i am sharing this entire paper with you and i will be quiet for next 45 50 minutes in fact like 60 60 to 70 minutes and after these 70 minutes i it doesn't matter we can take class till 11 o'clock we can take class till for more for one or two more hours as well no issues in that i am giving you i am stopping this class i am uh, going to pause this class for next 70 minutes i am going to pause this class for next 70 minutes you are going to attend the 70 to 80 minutes you are going to attend this paper by your own only question number 4 no relevant extract nothing full fledged paper to be read and then full fledged paper to be attempted i am sharing the paper with you best of luck attempt question number 4a and 4b and then download it onto your laptops and then send me and once after 80 minutes are done once after 80 minutes are done i will show you my answer of this question is every instruction clear to you all please i need a thumbs up from you is every instruction crystal clear to you all all those who do not have any whatsapp group link i will share you can whatsapp me i'll share this question with you otherwise you can also download it from google just write sbl specimen number 3 you will get this pdf paper from into a pdf paper format so okay so let's do this for the sake of our own result let's do this for the sake of our own result just a second i am sharing it right now just a second please no one is going to look at the answer do whatever you can do at your best
consider this as your consider this as your exam no one is going to uh, go on through the answers or because of the fact that uh, the answers are also included in this question so no one is going to go through the answer okay so i am sharing it on two different groups uh, the first one is my registered workshop group sorry my uh, regular students and the workshop group as well i am sharing this anyone who is not included in the groups can whatsapp me on the numbers i have already written my numbers you can whatsapp me and you can get the uh, question paper so how many weakness to identify but i am not i am not explaining anything i am not explaining anything do at your own do the best that you can do do whatever you feel like in part a you can write three points two points will also work but i would suggest to write three points in part b i guess you will have to make two slides five marks each in part b you'll have to make two slides in part a you can make one slide of three points right so there you go it's 922 according to my watch in my economy after 80 minutes i will after 80 minutes i will uh give my answer i have shared the question on your groups start solving question number 4 a read out the entire question by your own self and solve it on the cbe platform this is what you need to do
Okay, so are you all done? Yes, please. Have you all done, beta? Yes. Uh, done with the question. You need ten more minutes. Okay. It's only 60 minutes. Okay. Uh, I can give you 20 more minutes. No issues. No issues at all. Okay. You are getting 20 minutes more. No issues.
Okay, guys. So I guess I have given you ample amount of time now. Now, please stop writing. Has, has anyone completed these two parts? Is anyone right now claiming that he has completed these two parts? Yes, please. Has any of you completed these two parts right now? Please let me know. Only part one. Why only part one? Good. Okay, so now let me show you my answer. Although I have made my answer in the presentation format. Let me show you my answer. <clears throat> uh, yes, Vaji is claiming that he has done, he has completed both the parts. So this is something good. Okay, so uh, these are the answers that I've written. I guess uh, it is showing you the notes as well. Okay, so you were able to do only part one. Great. Anyone who have completed both the parts? Is there any student who has completed both the parts? Yes, Bushra, Aruna, Hamza, Kantesh, Yusuf, Marjoy, Noman, Payal, Shahrukh, Minar, Minahal, Omar, Waji, Herbert, Ikra. Is anyone? No. Why no? You should have completed. You should have completed both the parts because the time limit that has been given to you, it was enough to complete both the parts. Still. Okay, so now let me show you the first part. Although I have attempted this and uh, identify the weakness in the current. Only identification, great. Uh, identify the weakness of the current management accounting system, no interpretation of financial information, lack of proper analytical review, very minimal no use of non-financial information. These are the three parts that according to me should be included in the answer that is being given right now. And so it says that uh, in, in notes I have written, no interpretation of financial information. See, I've written only three points. You can write three, not more than three. You can even write two, but it's better to write three point for the question that is given in front of you. Right? So you need to write these three points at least so that you, have, you can have a better insight. So it says no interpretation of the financial statement, financial information, management accounting system, only display major line items of the financial statement and does not provide further breakdown in the form of notes to accounts, which make it very difficult for the management to drill down the number to know the root cause of a variation that has occurred during the period. These form, uh, these form of report are only providing a high level assessment which may not be relevant for the direction to base their decision making. Base, no, no, I said you will be, you will be main, having only one point to write. Like this is one point. The identification of weakness system. I said this is the one point that you will be writing. In this one heading, you will write at least three different uh, points or three different areas for six marks, okay? 
So it says that breakdown in the form of notes to accounts, which makes it very difficult for the management to drill down the numbers to know the root cause of variation. And that has occurred during the period. These form of report are only providing high level assessment, which may not be relevant for the directors to base their decision making. So I have written one paragraph for the first part, one paragraph for the second part, although I have written more than the requirement, but you can end up your paragraph within two to three lines because it is in the typing format. So you can end up your notes paragraph within two to three lines and it will be equally justifiable, but only relevant points. Lack of proper analytical review as evident from the latest report to, of management accounting system that the system is not built to incorporate data analytics module. It is believed that the ratio analysis in the form of profitability and performance assessment is more useful tool for management to review their financial standing rather than raw numbers, which does not explain the relationship between different factors that cause simultaneous change in various line items of the financial statement based on their correlation with each other. Apart from that, percentage change in market share and other competitors level analysis are not displayed. Obviously, uh, I have written this answer quite a number of times, so uh, my writing methodology will be better than the writing methodology of yours. So, but still, if you are able to write at least, still if you are able to write at least uh, 50 to 60 percent of your answer uh, that I have written, it will be equally good and perfectly fine with it. Just a minute, please. Just a minute, just give me a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so over here I have written the second part. Sir, I identified three issues that admin costs cover key expenses. Let me see what you have identified. You can share your answers. Uh, sir, as you are also aware of restaurant industry, yes. Uh, sir, I identified three issues. Uh, sir, I also included lack of breakdown of financial information related to each restaurant. So the, the yes, 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 yes. Yes, Sharuk, perfectly fine with it. Uh, <clears throat> sir, I identified three issues that admin costs cover, key expenses, it should be present separately. Yes, you can write, but you can make this point as part of some other point as well. You can merge two points by using this. Other cost breaker, no finance cost, high gearing convenience, 45%, three points. Yes, you will be writing three different points. Uh, perfectly fine with it. Then it says, just a second, Yusuf, just a second. Let me first read it out. Then you can ask questions at the end of the session. Okay, so over here it says, very minimal use of non-financial information. Although food cost per head and kitchen labor hours have been 
incorporated non fine till the time you have any question you can write on the chat option till the time i'm reading you can write on the chat option very minimal use of the non financial information although food cost per head and kitchen labor hours have been incorporated non financial information in the form of number of customers and staff working hours in their calculation but what about other factors such as numbers in name of production product sold numbers and name of the product sold bifurcation of the restaurants kitchen machinery hours used kitchen kitchen machinery hours that are being used uh and quantity of ingredients used in food preparation these factors yes just a second please these factors are not evaluated in the current iit system these factors are not evaluated in the current iit system thus making percentage change calculation fail to serve to its true purpose while justifying the variances between the budgeted and the actual performance now again i am saying this again i am letting you guys know that this is just a suggested answer this is just an answer uh, of me after having gone through at least 6 to 7 times through this paper obviously teaching students right from the start of sbl you know, at least 6 to 7 times after going through this paper so this is just uh, the suggested answer don't mm, feel that you are not writing up to the mark after reading this answer even if you are writing your valid point but not in very good english so it will give you equivalent marks in your real time examination so uh, i have just written the first answer i have also written the first answer i'll write the second answer and i will share with you all uh, for till the i guess is there any further question that you would want to ask uh, for today's class or shall we call it a day today is there any further question that you would want to ask you can open your mics as well if you want you can open your mic if you want yes no no further questions okay vaji uh, <clears throat> so uh, i just need to have an uh, uh, i just need to have a competitive analysis from your side do you think that this workshop is going to give you a competitive edge over other students do you think that this workshop is going to give you a competitive edge over other students do you feel like okay now this is something which really help us in okay great to know that great to know that now um now what you need to do i am sharing all the handouts i have shared two days handouts with you all i will share the third day as well that is today's handout tomorrow's <clears throat> tomorrow will be the last occurring topics from our uh, classes and the day after tomorrow we will be going through uh, the some the most important tips and tricks now after the completion of this week i will keep a face to face class either on monday tuesday or wednesday and as well as an online class it will be a hybrid class i will share the link with you all and we will have some last few uh, important tips and tricks now all i want from you guys is that i will be sharing some videos some short videos made by me and you need to listen to those videos most important topics um, blunders mistakes everything in tomorrow's class what i'll try to do i'll try to read out the examiner's comment this is equally important as in comparison to we solving the past papers 
it is equally important to read out what examiner viewpoint is about nibel company about cc's company about dcs company so i'll try to find out that question in which we have done ample amount of practice and we will solve we will go through one of the examiner report it will take at least an hour to read out the entire examiner report and to know what examiner is thinking in this regard so don't miss out tomorrow's class make sure that you are registered and go through tomorrow's class so that there is no issue for you all i hope so that this workshop is helping you a lot keep on practicing at the end of the day i am trying to make you guys practice a lot of question so that there is no mistake being done when you are going for your real time examination now within next week i will conduct two mock exams and we will go through those mock exams as well right so till tomorrow take care tata bye bye wa akhir dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin yusuf abhi nahi abhi mujhe bhook lag rahi hai kuch bhi nahi abhi